Okay, y'all. I have made some videos before. Oh, by the way, same shirt, same day, same chair. I'm going to address a topic, and I saw a comment this morning from a sweet lady. She merely made a comment. She was respectful and nice. But this is why I'm going to address this. Now, I've tried to address other things, y'all, and it has caused so much hate that I removed the video from YouTube. I'm not going to re remove this one. And the next time somebody asks me a question, or even if they're getting a little nasty because I try not to block people y'all I just want people to have the opportunity to maybe get a little nicer I don't know I'm a tough person but even though I don't watch the nasty channel I do have a couple of friends who let me know when people, viewers, that are on my channel, and they're so sweet, and they're so nice, and sometimes they're brutally honest, but they do it in a kind manner. But they let me know when people are being two-faced and we all know what that means you talk out of this side of your mouth nice 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 and then you go over here and you bad mouth somebody i had to block somebody yesterday that has always been and she's been with me for a long time and she's always been kind sweet, supportive, encouraging, and a little brutally honest at times. But she's one of those two-faced people. Now, as tough as I am, I'm going to tell you, that kind of hurt my feelings. But I'm over that now. I am over it. Because I shouldn't have hurt feelings over someone who is two-faced. So, that's the way it is. So now, what I'm going to talk about is um, my AdSense, which you guys know, YouTube really frowns on talking about the amount of money that you make. I'm going to talk a little about e-begging and I'm going to talk about my PayPal account and what PayPal accounts are for. Now, lots of people have a Patreon account. I don't feel like that that's right for me. Um, and for, you, for those of y'all that don't know what that is, you um, go on someone's Patreon account and you uh, commit to a certain amount of money that you give the YouTube creator every month um, and that's fine lots of people love their uh, YouTube creators their channel and they want to support them they want to help them get better equipment they want to help them have gas money so they can travel uh, they for whatever reason and that is fine with me. 
I don't care. Whoever wants to can do that. I'm not judging. That's it. I don't feel it's right for me. For one thing, y'all know I don't travel except down to McDonald's. <laughs> and I don't do that very much. Um, so, let me see. What am I going to... Okay. First of all, I have said this many times, and I'm going to acknowledge it again. Without you guys, I would not be living in this cottage. I could not afford it. I couldn't do it on my Social Security. It's because you view and you support my channel. It's not because you give me gifts. It's through my AdSense. Now, sometimes it's more. Sometimes it's less. But whether you believe this way or not, I believe this cottage was a gift from God and from very good, amazing friends and you all. And I appreciate everyone so much, so much. I'm so thankful every day when I walk through my front door, when I drive up into my driveway, when I open my drawers and my clothes are put away neatly and I don't have to drag them out from under my cot in a plastic bin. Not that that was a terrible part of my life because it wasn't, but I am thankful every single day for everything, that I have a sink to brush my teeth in, that I have a refrigerator, although it doesn't usually have a lot in it. I eat very simply. So you guys know that you are the reason that I can be here. And I thank God for you every day. I thank God for my channel, for my viewers, my supporters, for the sweet, encouraging people. So, thank you from the bottom of my heart. Now I'm going to talk about um, my PayPal account. Now, I did not have one for a very long time. In fact, my channel wasn't monetized for a long time. I didn't know anything about it. But some people told me about it and even told me how to do it. And Mango is responsible for this channel and my monetization. You know, she's a good friend of mine. Vagabond Mango is her channel. Thank you, Mango. Now, after I got my channel monetized and I had, you know, my viewers, my subscribers went up, which always blew me away. And I don't even have to look at how many I have. In fact, I never do. You guys always tell me, ooh, 17,000. And so you've always let me know. But many of you asked me repeatedly, one, to get a post office box. So I did. And you blessed me abundantly. Whether it was a Starbucks gift card, whether it was a sweet letter, or just a card. It was amazing and all the cute stuff that you guys sent to me and sweetie if you still watch me I still have my adorable piece of yard art that you sent me and I love it so 
I tried to do things because I was asked to do them. And I assumed that if anybody sent me anything at all, it was out of the goodness of their heart and because they truly wanted to. Not because I asked for anything. My throat's getting dry. It's um, the allergies. I don't know what's up with that. But anyway, um, and then I was asked repeatedly to put up a PayPal link and a Patreon account. Well, as I've explained to you, uh, Patreon is just not something. I, let me back up. If my little Hazel got in trouble medically and I could not handle it myself, that would be the only reason. That would be the only reason I would ever ask anybody for anything. So, I was asked over and over to do this. And so, I did it. And um, I didn't even know what PayPal was. I didn't have a PayPal link. So, I did it. I created a PayPal account. And I started posting that, um, and it took me a while to figure out how to do it. And I didn't, it's in the description is where you put the link. I didn't do it on every single video. To tell you the truth, I would forget about it. And yes, I did get some gifts. I've always asked people, please, because I know many of you live on a tiny income, even much smaller than my Social Security, which just went up, I can't remember how much. We got a COLA uh, increase, which I'm thankful for. It doesn't matter. Five dollars helps you. But anyway, I know a lot of you live off of much smaller incomes, and I never want anyone to sacrifice anything for me. And especially now, I'm doing fine, you guys. It's only if someone has it, has the means to do it, and they truly want me to have it. Now, if you've noticed, I have not put up my PayPal link in a very long time, but I have had requests from people to do it. So, and I've asked several people that I'm close to, is that wrong? Does it make me an e-beggar? Which I get what a beggar is, but I'm not, I don't understand what the e is all about. Uh, but anyway, um, I'm going to do it occasionally because I've been asked to do it. And because I've asked people close to me, is it wrong? Is it blatantly saying, give me, give me, give me, send me? And they have said, no. It is to allow the people that are able and really want to, to send you a gift. Um... There was something else that just popped into my head, and of course, I can't remember everything. Oh, this sweet lady that asked me the questions, um, 
why do you talk about monetary things? This channel, and this lady, I, I don't recall seeing her before, and what happens is sometimes someone will come onto your channel and they'll watch a couple, a few of your videos. That does not show them the type of person that I am, where my heart is, what I believe in, uh, what my faith is. Um, so all I can say is, there's no way you can watch every video I've ever made because let me tell you, there's a slew of them. But try to learn more about me. Um, just try to learn a little bit more about me. Um, try not to go to the nasty channel and be influenced unless you are one of those sad, bitter people that has such a lack of love and affection in your life that you turn to meanness, which this lady has not done. Let me make that perfectly clear. But this channel is it started out about me living in my van on disability, which turned into Social Security. Um, and then as I left the van life, pretty much, uh, it's about my life. It's about things that I see, things I hear, things I have strong feelings about, my opinions. I don't expect everybody to agree with me all the time, and I invite you to disagree in a respectful way. I talk about my utility bill. I talk about uh, what I spend on food. I talk about things that I love. I talk about some things I need, like a can opener, my poor can opener. She's a goner. I have glued her. I've, I've done everything to keep this can opener because it is pink. And it was a good one. It was a Cuisinart that I got so many years ago. Um, everybody has to have some kind of a can opener. I never, ever, ever want that to be construed as me asking you guys to get me stuff. I'm able to do it. I'm able to buy a stupid little can opener, ice cube trays. I, you know what? I've already explained how much you all have helped me and continue to help me by watching my videos. That's all you have to do. So I'm not gonna make any excuses for what I talk about. Um, I'm not gonna defend myself. I don't have to. And the occasional putting up of my PayPal account is only because I've been asked, Donna, I'm putting one up for you, sweetie. And I'm not going to do it all the time, but occasionally I am. My gifts come not from hundreds of people. They're occasional, and they're usually from the same people. And I'm not going to name them. Most people just want to be anonymous, and I respect that. I'm going to end this by saying, and this is a long video, I'm going to make a series of how I got where I am. From going on disability, the reason why, living in my car, living in my van, 
my apartments, my studios, renting rooms from people to where I am today. And I'm going to try to make them in short little videos. But I want to end by saying there are a few people myself that because it was put on my heart that I made a gift to their channel, to them, because I wanted to and because I was able to. I don't just receive, I try to give. I try to give to my community. Um, I support Bread of Life. Um, so I'm not just a receiver. I try to be a giver. So that's it for this book. And um, do something fun today, y'all. And I'm going to leave this video up. And I'm going to give it a title or a number. And when anybody asks me questions about things like this, I'm just going to refer them. Because it is hard to answer the same question over and over. And I want to answer the questions. So anyway, y'all, that's it. Goodbye for now. Do something fun. And I'll talk to you later. Bye now.